There's nothing like the confidence clear skin brings. What's up everyone, it's your favorite blind chick back on your screen with another one. In this one, I'm gonna be sharing with you eight different things that I've been using over the last 10. I'm talking about how to lose your mass knee in 10 days to get my skin complexion back to what it was. Because if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that it's not just been the mass knee. I've been battling cystic acne, moon cycle acne, all types of acne for years now. And I finally feel like I'm in a place confident enough to share with you what I've been doing, especially in the last week and a half. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to tap the like button and let's get into it. So I have a lot of stuff to show you. I wanted to keep it just to the treatment and the cleansing, because I think when it comes to acne, it's so important to really get your skin clean, to start off with a blank canvas, and then to treat it well. Of course, there's other important steps like moisturizers, make sure that your pH is balanced, and you always have to choose skincare that is perfect for your, not only complexion, but skin type. I'm dealing with combination dry right now. It switches on me and goes combination oily in the spring and summer, but as I live in a cooler climate, who am I kidding? I live in a cold AF climate here in Toronto. I have to be very mindful as we switch up into this coming season that I have more reasons to really nourish my skin. For the sake of time, I'm not gonna show you all the moisturizers I use because there's a lot, but if you're interested, I can maybe do like an IG version. I haven't done IG TV or Reels yet, so maybe I can do something creative with that. Let me know down below. But let's go with this stuff because I got a lot. One of my favorite tools ever, this is the Ferreo Luna mini i've had this for five years when i first got it i did a review and i've never looked back this is the best device i've ever purchased out of everything best device ever this has come with me on every trip that i've ever traveled on i can't live without it if i wash my face with my hands i notice a difference this has me feeling all types of bougie. Once you use this, you cannot go back. I like to use the front on a good average day, but if my skin's acting the fool, I flip it to the back of the back where the bristles are more stiff and it really gets in there. A good cleanse after every use keeps this sterilized. As I mentioned, I've had this for five. It still works, it still works. As I mentioned, I've had this for five years and although I've dropped it, it still works perfectly well. The battery lasts forever. It usually, no cap, charges three times a year. I don't even remember charging it twice this year and we're already in November. So the charge lasts you a long, long, long time and you can change the intensity if you like. I like to stick it on the medium intensity and just there's a full review on my channel. Don't let me take up all the time of this video, but it's very important to have a cleansing tool, not just mechanically cleanse, because something like this is gonna take your skincare game to the next level. It's gonna really make sure that whatever you're using to clean your skin is more potent. Keep that in mind for the next product I'm gonna show you. I wanted to switch up my face wash. When you're dealing with acne, you need to be more conscientious of what the root problem is. So for me, my clogged pores are a result of sebum being stuck under the surface because I love fresh face cleanser, but sometimes that ain't it. I love it, I think it's worth every single coin. Since I did a review for you guys, what, seven, eight years ago, that's still been my HG, holy grail for life. But when you're dealing with strife, skincare concerns, struggles with acne, you need to take it up a notch. And this is where it's at. This is the Dr. Dennis Growth, which I'm gonna be showing a lot of his stuff in this video. Wish it was sponsored, but it is not. So if you're watching this, Dr. Dennis Growth, holla at you, girl. But this is one of their pore perfecting cleansing gels. They have different types of cleansers. This just came in a kit that I happened to buy during the VIB sale, and I have been loving it. This. I love, but there is one thing I hate about it, which is that it is very astringent. So the thing I love about it is also what I hate. Typical woman issue, right? The reason why I hate what I love is because I'm so used to the soy face cleanser, and because of that, I feel spoiled. Like that cleanser, you walk away, you leave your bathroom feeling like life is under control, everything is balanced, there's serenity and peace in the world. This one, not so much. You feel like your skin is tight and taut and dry. All those feelings I don't like, but at least you know it's getting into the pores and cleaning everything out. So I use a tiny bit of this. I learned the hard way by using a lot that you really don't need a lot, it suds up. It's very weird gel consistency, it almost feels plastic. Also from that kit and perhaps the most potent out of all the products I'm gonna show you today, I'm sure you heard about these. 
These, sometimes if you catch them on sale on Facebook Marketplace, yeah, you heard me right, that is like a good day because these are expensive. So expensive that I tried these, I reviewed these for you, what, five years ago and I haven't bought a box since because your girl doesn't have coins like that. But I decided, considering everything, it was time to take the plunge and invest. And they had a kit, so it was a good deal. I got 35 plus that and another product I'll show you in a second. And this, honestly, if you just buy this alone, even if you get the five treatments tried out, changes your life. This is not for the faint of the heart a week because it is strong, it will tingle, it will sting until your skin gets used to it. Like I said, I used this years ago, so I feel like the first couple times I used it, my skin's like, yo, and then after it got used to it. So it doesn't tingle as badly. But it comes in a set of two, and what it does is you rip open the first side, which is the first of the glycolic acid peels. There's a pad in there, you just wipe it over your face, let it sit for like five or 10. Once it's like really saturated in, you go in with the second step. So one step is to exfoliate and the other one's to really get in there and treat and allow the skin to resurface. If you buy a pack and you wanna use it the way I do, this is what I do. So when I first get a set, I'll use it five days, take two days off because my skin needs a break. Then I'll use it another five days, take two days off, then use it for two days, take five days off, two days, five days off. I find when I do that, it's not only to make sure the package lasts longer, but so that my skin only really needs it when it needs it. Eventually I want to get to the point where I might have a little bit of acne like here and then I can just use this and it's just like my overnight treatment, but your girl's not there yet. Last from that kit is this. And out of everything, I can't say that this is a hunted for me. This is something that I like, but I don't love. Probably because out of everything that I have shown you and will show you, I can't say with my whole heart and put my chest into it that this is something that really does change the game. It works all right, but it doesn't work phenomenally. This is the Pore Perfecting Serum. And yes, I've noticed over here that my pores have gotten a teeny weeny bit smaller, which says a lot for someone who's visually impaired with my contact lens mirror. But is this something that you really, really need? Is it gonna help with these over here? can't say that with certainty but I just wanted to let you know because this is something that I have added in the last week and a half about something that I do know works it's this this is the Clarisonic Mia so much of an OG that it's no longer available I'm telling you the Coco really put a lot of companies out of business including this it's so unfortunate because Clarisonic was just such a good idea and really revolutionized the idea of facial tools as a way and a mainstay of cleansing and skincare and all of that but I came back to using this. I figured this brush head would be perfect for me with what I was going through. I've been using this for, I don't even know, two months now, nightly only, because I feel like this is just perfect to really slough off all the dead skin, make sure there's absolutely nothing there. Then I deep clean and sterilize this after every use because we're not trying to put back bacteria here. We're trying to work on this situation, not just spread it around. So something like this, if you can get maybe a knockoff for the Amazon's basic version, or if you have one in your closet, pull your Clarisonic out, give it some love because it's gonna definitely show results and help you get radiant skin. I have to mention while we're here about the aftermath of acne, which is scarring. There's two serums that I use to help out with that. The newest one is the Ordinary Niacinamide and Zinc. I bought this a month ago and I've been using this I'd say every couple of days I do use it during the day although a lot of people recommend using it at night my skin isn't sensitive like that so I figure if I'm using all of these at night I better switch this to the day once in a while I will go for this and as you can see I use this religiously this is the ferulic and retinol acid by Dr. Dennis Growth I got this year and years ago in a set with this so that was the last time that I used those peel pads. But this is something that I purchased four times since because it really does work. And every time I use it, people notice and they're like, your skin looks so radiant, it glows, it looks more even, X, Y, and Z, this, that, and next, it better because it's $110, okay? It's not cheap, but products like these, when you see the results and you can find a way to add it into your routine, it helps with the whole regimen. And even though it is sensitive, don't get me wrong, if you find a way to have this for a whole year, I feel like it's an investment for your skincare. But if you're on a budget, because look at the times we're living in, I completely understand. You can get the vitamin C serum. I really like the vitamin C from The Ordinary and not so cheap, but really works super well. The Drunk Elephant, or you can get this. This is $6.70, so I mean, 
I saved the best for last. This is what I think has been the game changer for me that really catapulted my skin getting cleared up because I've been using a lot of things over the last six months and nothing has been quite like this. This was gifted to me by my friend Jeff. You need you a Jeff in your life, someone who knows and is passionate about skincare and is going to recommend and gift you things like these. This is the Neostrata. This is the clarifying peel. It is potent. It is perfection. And it is peppermint. I love it. The scent is everything to me. You know what type of peppermint this is? It's very specific. It's so trippy that I just instantly takes me to, you know, at the end of the trauma of going to the dentist when they just do the whole like toothbrush with the enamel thing. That toothpaste has a very specific minty scent that I have not smelled anywhere but the dentist chair until I smelt this. And it's weird, but I actually like it even though it reminds me of traumatic times. I don't like the consistency of it. It's too thick and goopy. It feels like gunk on your face. I've tried to wear it throughout the day underneath my moisturizer. Ain't working for me. But at nighttime when I fall asleep, it's okay for me. So I'll usually put this on maybe an hour before I go to sleep so it can sink in on my face instead of on my pillow. And it has been great. It's really gotten down this one, which has been my most problematic acne. And all of these, like who, what, where, why, gone. Definitely Holla at your Neostrata. I don't know how much this big dutty bottle costs because, again, it was a gift. But I will Google and figure it out and link it down below for you. So that wraps up this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know by tapping the like button. Share with someone who also has similar skincare problems. And as always, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Until next time, love and later.